Right, hey guys, so we're out and about around Torrebecca again today, and this time round, what we're going to do is show you some of the fuel prices, cost of living and all that malarkey, because trust me, depending on where you go, you can actually make some big savings because there's such a variation in some of the prices from the different, uh, different petrol stations, from the Repsols and those likes of things, and the Carrefours and even the Habaneris and stuff like that, where all the petrol stations are in and around the area. Oops, someone's getting excited on the horn. And uh, so what we'll do, we'll show you the variation. Now, but like I say, there's some places it varies 20, 30 cents. Now, if you're filling up a car full, you're doing that regularly obviously there's some big savings you could be making guys so let's show you a few of them and give you an idea of the area they're in see if we can get you guys to make some savings on the fuel and stuff like that right Right, so this bit of information has just been added in because Andy from the YouTube channel Brits Living in Spain told me something yesterday which is actually very relevant to this picture. So first of all, if you've not followed the Brits Living in Spain, just give them a quick uh, search on YouTube, Brits Living in Spain, and you will find it. They have got a back catalogue of so many um, videos, restaurant reviews, places they've been to and all of those kind of things. Really, really great information to so go and uh, have a look, search them up and have a look. But the information that Andy actually told me was that um, if you go on to Google Maps and type in the petrol station or the name of the petrol station that you're looking for, it will actually pull up live on there what the prices are actually doing. So if you like type in Penoil Torreca, it will show you the um, where they are, first of all, flies, on the map, and it will also tell you the price they are charging for the petrol. So a great tip, great bit of information. If you want to find the cheapest ones, just go into Google Maps and search it. How good is that? So thanks very much for the Brits living in Spain and Andy for giving us that info, and make sure you go Google it on Google Maps and check out the prices. So this is the first one we're coming up to. Obviously, we're right by the... Uh, <laughs> Try not to get run over here. Right by the Burger King. On the big roundabout in Torreveca. Where all the flamingos are. And over there, that big area there, just in case you're interested, is apparently where the new bus stops going to, uh, or bus stations going to be going in. So, yeah. Make it nice and easy for us getting to and from the buses. Right, so let's come here and have a look at some of these fuel prices. And as you can see, load of different ones just like back in the UK you've got your normal fuels so simple Oma 95 is your box standard unleaded and that's 171 cents a litre here if you'll notice the diesel is 153 so there's a big difference in the diesel uh, here compared to the standard unleaded but there's also a big difference in the actual prices as well. So we'll show you a few of these. Like I say, if you remember this one from the beginning, that's 171, call it 172 a litre for fuel. And we'll go around and show you, show you a few different prices in the area and uh, what's around. second one and this is one of the petrol stations that's got the old uh, Carrefour Express attached to it. Now most of these, to be fair, these petrol stations, the Carrefour Expresses are open on the days where the uh, other parts are closed and already you can see this is like five cents a litre cheaper than what it was on the Reptile station. It's just the other side of the roundabout where all the flamingos are so like I say quick bit of driving around it soon starts to save you money five cents a litre on when you're um, obviously filling up the car again is going to make a big difference so just quickly show you around 
so like big bigger petrol stations have got the Carrefour Express and they do all the gas and stuff like that at these ones as well so you can get them but like I say check around for the prices because some of the prices the half start making a lot of difference and stick around right till the end because at the end we'll show you the cheapest prices or the place that we found that is the cheapest in the area in Torrebecca and there are a few of them around the country so up in Calpy where we go quite a lot as well there's a few of the same petrol stations there so right so now we're actually on the N332 which is the main road there that goes runs right away through the middle of Torrebecca that you can see and this one's just between uh, Torrebecca and La Mata and because you're on the main road again the prices jump up so it's like when you go on the motorways back home in the UK the prices jump straight back up so you're up at nearly 174 again for unleaded which is the 95 or if you want the posh stuff 181 so again it makes a big difference and this is well that's the La Mata Lake over there so between Torrebeck and La Mata this is the uh, on the main road the M332 that's what the prices go like and the further towards Alicante you get the more they go up right so now we are back right in Torrevecca itself and we're right over at the Carrefour and the Carrefour have got their own petrol station in here again you can see the prices there but as I do understand it and I'm not entirely sure but from what I understand there is a discount card so if you've got the Carrefour card looking at that it's saying that it gets you actually 8% off so your ones call it 164 less your 8% but it's still not the cheapest place around um, again it's pretty much a self-service job but not the cheapest around like I say but then again the Carrefour in terms of supermarkets and things like that we've never found it to be massively cheap anyway but that's your prices again so yeah there are cheaper around right so this is the cheapest place we found which is actually pen oil and this is you can just see over in the background there that's the La Jolla development and that's the main road there with the roundabout come off of there and it's just over by the Altos del Liminar area and there you go that is the prices over here so it's about 146 147 for Paloma 95 which is by far the cheapest place and it's about 20 euros cheaper than other places around at uh, 20 euros 20 cents cheaper than other places around sorry which if you think about it you do a good 50 litres worth it's going to be best part of 10 euros difference so on a tank full of fuel shopping around you can save yourself a good 10 euros if you go to the right places so this one it's all pretty much self-service and machines at the same time and you've got all the cleaning places next to it so but it's well worth doing and getting it because it makes a lot of difference so it is all self-service machines here and it's easier to use and pay by card but for the bit of grief it's definitely worth doing it does save you a few quid and if you're over here doing a fair few miles it soon starts to mount up and add up the savings so well worth um, a bit of traveling around for and to be fair this is probably one of the closest petrol stations to us anyway so we always use this but there are a good number of these around even up in places like Calpe and places like that they've still got some of these um, stations around for plenty oil ones so it's, uh, it's worth um, having a look around for just making sure you're getting the best savings that you can guys because you know every little bit that you uh, save goes in your pocket rather than someone else's so that's a few of the local petrol stations around guys and uh, as you can see the prices do vary and you can make yourself some good savings so it's worth doing a bit of shopping around so I hope that helps you guys out and uh, please like and subscribe if you're still watching hit the thumbs up if you do like it thumbs down if you don't all that kind of thing please subscribe it's free it will not cost you a penny but it does help channels like that guys so i'll leave you all to it and um, we'll get some more videos out again shortly cheers guys bye